Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from DomesticateMe.com. I've been asked to do more day in the life type blogs and vlogs, so here's my first one for 2016. I have a very busy day. It's um, a little hectic. I have to go to work, but then I also have an HBO premiere to attend tonight. Not typical schedule, but I won't say that the insanity of it isn't typical for me. I do have a crazy schedule every week, um, so I'm always busy, but it's a little special today because I have that premiere. So let's get started. I'm trying to decide what to wear for the premiere tonight. I know that I want to wear this Zara crop top. But I'm not sure about the bottom. I have three skirts laid out. This one is by H&M. This one is by Bar 3, and this one is by Stitch Apparel. This is a pencil skirt, this is like an A-lined faux leather, and this is a textured, full, high-waisted skirt. I don't know, we'll see. Hey guys, I'm in the car on my way to the city to get my makeup done, and then I have to go somewhere else to get my hair done, and then we'll head right to the premiere. Um, thanks for sticking around, see you in a bit. The Ziegfeld Theater is just a few blocks that way. I didn't mention this before, but I went with a completely different look than I had originally planned. I'm now wearing a blush sequin dress, which I can give you a little peek right there. I just realized, hey, when am I gonna be in an HBO premiere? A Martin Scorsese show, no less, for HBO. Might as well just go all out. So um, I'm gonna be there in a little bit, so stay tuned. I didn't get to mention this before, but a huge shout out and thank you to Nicole Christine. She's a YouTuber as well. She did my makeup today and I'm loving it. I told her that I was going to a premiere for an HBO show that's all about glam rock in the 60s, 70s. So she gave me that little glam rock look to go with my outfit and I'm super happy with it. Um, hopefully we'll get a couple of good shots at the event so you can see.
So I just got home from the HBO vinyl premiere and I'm in my living room trying to film this quietly because my entire family is in bed. It's, oh my goodness, it's almost 1.30. I haven't been out this late in a very long time. Um, but I just wanted to say a few things, the first of which is huge shout out to Nicole Christine for doing my makeup. She did my makeup at the Sephora downtown and I loved it. Don't judge it by this because this is after hours and hours of wear. Um, and Urban Decay also had booths at the premiere and they did little touch-ups and so they added little glitter that was them. But she, I love the makeup, love her. So make sure that you go to her channel and comment on her videos and ask her to come back to YouTube because it's been a little while since she's posted and we need her to come back because she is awesome. I loved her and I know that you'll love her too. So definitely check out her video and subscribe to hers as well as mine if you haven't already. The other thing is, I have to mention this because I, this, this was literally a day in my life, but it's not a typical day. I don't go to HBO premieres all the time. That was my very first HBO premiere, I think. Um, but... The other thing is I don't take cars into Manhattan. Any true New Yorker will tell you that the best way to travel in Manhattan and throughout most of the boroughs, there's some areas that are a little more remote than others, but it's subway, subway baby. It is number one, the cheapest way to get around, but number two, usually the quickest. Um, today, I just was, I was wearing heels and I knew it's gonna be a long day. It has been a very long day and I just wanted to, just try and keep off of them as much as I could so that I could enjoy myself tonight and I made the right decision because my feet are killing me and I can't imagine how badly they would feel right now if I would taken the subway and walked around so that is why I take that's why I took cars I don't normally take cars anywhere because subways are just the best I also want to thank the girls at Dry Bar for doing my hair so quickly because I was running a little bit late and I needed to get to the premiere and they did a really nice job and although it's gone down a lot since they finished, I wish I could have taken really good shots of it when it finished but I literally told the girl, I need to go, my car's outside, paid, ran out and then went right to the theater. So it's gone down a lot but it still looks super pretty and I wish that I could save it and wear it like this a little bit longer but I have to go to the gym in the morning so it's, it's it's this is it for me this is why I wanted to film this right now because I wanted to document how 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 cute my hair is today I'm so I'm sad it's gotta go That's it. and if you're wondering what I wore it is this Calvin Klein dress beautiful blush kind of rose gold dress There you go. As far as the actual show goes, it was awesome. It was really great. And the theater was the perfect venue to watch the first episode because it's about music and the music was loud and it was just, you just got the full effect from being in that gorgeous theater. Um, as Well, I guess it would have been great if we were in a club, but that theater was gorgeous and it was, it was a really great show. The cast is amazing. The acting was very good. The, the, the characters were very compelling. You should watch vinyl because I really enjoyed it and the music is amazing. The music is fantastic and what I just kept saying to everyone after is that you can really tell that the people behind this show just love the music and this is all about loving that music, genuine love for the music and it's an, really it's an ode to the music. So it's it's really good. I sat right behind the designer of Alice and Olivia, which is one of my favorite brands. I sat right behind her. I was two rows behind the singer of the New York Dolls. I was five rows from Martin Scorsese. Mick Jagger was there. It was it was really cool. And I saw um, Peter Dinklage. I saw who else was there? Oh oh, um, Mark Jacobs. I saw this is the second time I've seen him at a premiere in New York. The first of which was the Hamilton premiere. Next premiere I go to, I will say hello because I think third time's a charm and I will have grown enough um, cojones, I'll say, <laughs> to finally say hello because I love Mark Jacobs. 
Um, oh, I saw my old friend John Oliver. I haven't seen him in so long, so it was really great to catch up with him. I haven't seen him since I was producing stand-up comedy shows and he would perform in that, and he hasn't performed, he said, since his show on HBO started, so it was really nice to see him. Um, who else did I see? Gina Gershon was there. She was gorgeous. Um, Olivia Wilde, of course. All of the actors from the show. Jason Sudeikis was there supporting his wife, Olivia. Who else was there? That Paul Rudd love Paul Rudd. Um, it was cool. It was really cool. Thank you so much for coming with me virtually with this vlog. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them. Please comment below if you have any questions, requests, anything at all. I love to hear from you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like this vlog and if you want to see more day in the life vlogs, I'll be happy to do so. I got a few requests in my giveaway video, so make sure that you enter my giveaway if you haven't read by the way, it's really, really good. I have Urban Decay products, Mary Kay products, really, really good stuff. So look for that link below in the info section. Thanks. A huge thank you to my cousin-in-law, Danielle, for inviting me and letting me be her guest. I had such a great time and I, I obviously I could not have been there without her. So thank you. If you're watching, thank you so much for inviting me. I had such a great time. Thank you to my husband for watching Catalina and letting me enjoy this girl's night out. It was so much fun. So that is all for my very first vlog of 2016. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already and stay tuned.